Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your sex and romance reading for the first half of July. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in store for you, boo-boos. For my Aquarius, please. Please take note, this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Whoa. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. And give your relationship a chance. Okay, so the signs are cautioning you about something, but you feel like something's off and you really need to pay attention to certain things. Maybe there's something going on in your relationship that you're not seeing and that you need to really pay attention to it or them you, okay? But it's also telling you to give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? Let's see. Maybe, you, maybe someone is not feeling very happy or lacking something and you're not seeing it and there's just like certain things going on and someone's blind to it, but you know, you really need to pay attention. Someone needs to pay attention. Yes. She's holding the world and the sun card. Okay, maybe... Maybe someone's cheating. Pay attention to the red flags. Are they cheating? Yes, maybe. Okay. Are you cheating? Maybe, yes. Okay. But on top of that, there's no need to worry. Okay. Um, they're probably most likely not going to um, do it because maybe they're thinking about doing it and you catch them really sending messages or whatever, but they are not really going to do it. Yes, they are thinking about cheating, or yes, there is something going on, and you feel it, but there's it could be something that you don't need to worry about, okay? But really pay attention to whatever it could be. Okay, let's see. Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles, this is a, st a stable relationship. People go through ups and downs, yes, but most likely you guys are going to stay together. You guys are bound together, okay? You need to really work on your partnership, your relationship. If you really want to make it work, okay? Knave of Pentacles. So the Knave of Pentacles, you guys could also be dealing with the Capricorn. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but... The Knave of Pentacles is really talking about maybe them uh, getting into indulging a lot into alcohol to heal their pain or whatever they're going through and you're not seeing it or whatever they're going through and you're not seeing whatever vice versa. It's really like eating at them in a way where they're probably doing something behind your back or you're doing something behind their back and it's like it's not keeping you up at night, but it's like you're still, no matter what, at the end of the day, you guys go back to each other. People have issues. People always have issues, okay? That doesn't mean it's going to be the end to whatever, because anybody's life can end at any any time of the day or whatever. Anything could happen. That's why you always have to be in this love and not really worry about little petty things. You know what I mean? Maybe you found out he went out for drinks with someone or you went out for drinks with someone or something was going down or you heard something through drinking with your friends or with him or whatever and they said something or they said something and that light bulb came up or whatever. <laughs> Maybe you guys are going to be talking about it in bed. Whatever you do, talk about it while you guys are in each other so the anger and the frustration can come out. Come out. <laughs> Gush out. No. <laughs> and then we have, ooh, muerte, la muerte. This is the death card reversed. Something is coming to an end. Or something is not ending. Um, this could also mean that you're not letting this relationship die. Someone's not letting the relationship die off. Like I said, you guys are holding on tight. More earth energy here. Don't let past skeletons or past things um, ruin what you guys have. 
okay? Like it says, give your relationship a chance, but also pay attention to the red flag so that you guys can work on those things. <laughs> we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? So you see how this couple here got interrupted by the parent or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someone got caught. Okay, or maybe you guys just have a hard time getting it on because you have kids or whatever and they interrupt or, and uh, they're little cock blockers, whatever it is, whatever. Maybe they cheated in the past. You caught them cheating in the past and it's still haunting you, but you still have to let it go. And um, you're really trying hard to get over it, but like I said, you guys are still holding on really tight. You got to let that go. If you're planning on staying together, you will work through it and let it go. Don't let the ghosts from the past, the monsters from the past interrupt what you guys had, you know? This could also be people interrupting your relationship, walking in on your business, stuff like that. You know what I mean? That has to come to an end. It's all about you two, not anybody else. King of Air, this is people really trying to communicate, or you you or them really coming in to communicate, talking about this. Like, is there something bothering you? We need to really work on this. Let's let's try. We'll keep trying and you know. Four of Air, yeah. Could also be with an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Okay. So an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Um definitely seeing you guys will be communicating. Okay. Um they really see you or you see them as someone that you can be with for the rest of your life or, you know, they they put you on a high pedestal and, and you see each other as, you know, yes, you bump heads, but you guys could be a little theatrical sometimes, you know, blowing shit up <laughs> or someone blew something up, you know. You could be like always communicating in a way where like you're throwing the past at each other all the time and it's just like frustrating you know what I mean so yeah don't do that no more you really want to make it work you got to heal from that you know let it die out it's the reason why it's behind us and not ahead of us so give me a lover's oracle for my Aquarius please to lover's oracle you could also be giving another someone from your past a chance too you never know you never know okay first card we have our emotions are natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment you see you got to mentally let go of whatever happened in the past, whether that was someone cheated. Okay. Exactly what I said. Okay. Those two came out. Forgiveness. Wow. Forgive. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's why the communication card is here. You, you probably will start communicating about this stuff. Get deep if you want to save it. Stop focusing your energy on past events, okay? That's what it says. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. You don't want to recreate that shit by always constantly thinking about what happened in the past, okay? And then it says, beware of what you are projecting. Beware of what you're thinking, what you're seeing, what you're envisioning. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. The way you see them is the way they see you and vice versa. Okay. So there you go, um, Aquarius. I hope this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Let me know in the comments below. Love you guys and I will see you in your next reading.